Welcome to your latest Terra Luna Classic updates. Are we losing that support right there at 0 0.30178? Well, I guess we'll find out, will we? Welcome back to another trading analysis anyway. And uh, today I'll be diving deep into the world of uh, Terra Luna Classic. There's been uh, lots of stuff going on and the chat technically looks fantastic the pullback has given some very huge opportunities so um you know talking about that burns for terra luna classic it's not just about burning tokens i think it's about also paving the way for recovery and before you jump into the future i want to make it clear terra luna classic might not necessarily become a deflationary wonder but that's not the end game. It's about supporting USC, you know, stability, and of course, finding that uh, sweet spot. So let's talk uh, a bit about, and um, let's just look at this border crypto landscape and crypto bubble. You no know, deflationary vibes are really in the air. You know, Ethereum, Shiba Inu, and also uh, you know, Pepe, Ada, Crow, Crypto.com, BNB, all of them, they are all riding the deflationary waves right now because uh, deflationary aspects are the future. So it's like the cool kid everyone wants to hang out with. Um, let's talk about Terra Luna Classic. It's not just you now about being another deflationary token. I think the goal is more nuanced and um, it's about having an algorithm that supports USA through maintaining, burning and maintaining stability. So remember, it's not just about that burning for the sake of burning. It's about also crafting a path that benefits everyone. So uh, I think you should cast your minds back to the early days when Teradona Classic took a nose dive. So the idea was simple. If we burn the entire supply, magic will happen. We are talking about, uh, we are talking recovery here, a revived chain. And yes, maybe some profits along the way. It's about saying beyond short-term gains and sacrificing for a brighter future now let's address you know taxes you know nobody loves them but they are crucial for recovery think about it like the taxes we pay to fix roads right we all contribute a bit for the greater good so Terraluna classic is no different the burn tax is uh, some kind of a sacrifice for the collective benefits so to enter that, uh, enter the 1.2% tax thingy, uh, you should remember when it was implemented for three weeks, right? Well, get what, guess what? It worked. It generated significant burns and attracted attention and even showed that the community was ready to make sacrifices for a common good, which uh, that's what actually has really made Terradona Classic different from many other cryptos. It's like, it's a community that runs this, Terra Classic, and now uh, even after reverting to that 0.5 percent tax, the impact really lingered. So, why not stick to what really works? I mean, it's really a question that is, I'll say, is a no brainer. Uh, but now there is a proposal on the table, you know, a parameter change to adjust the on chain tax rate to 1.5 percent. And this will really bring us back to the original 1.2% tax with a 3% funding to the chain. So the split will be around 0.15% to the community pool and 0.15% to the staking rewards. So the argument is simple. It worked before, it can work again, and it's a step towards really or actually creating a new normal. So the debate is often about um, on-chain versus off-chain taxes. But you know, as uh, CZ rightly said, it starts with on-chain. Once the community is on the same page, then uh, we can explore off-chain options. So it's about showing exchanges that we are committed to the long game, not just chasing quick gains and these quick profits, you know. Even though I encourage you all the time to take profits, but it's a good thing to re reinvest it once we've had pullbacks like this. It's a great opportunity. It's a win-win for everyone. So the proposal isn't just about taxing for the sake of it. It's um, about building 
a road to recovery, showing the world that Tarona Classic is a project with purpose. So it's about also crafting a narrative beyond that individual wallet, embracing a collective journeys. So why 1.2% or 1.5%? Because I think it's about just making a statement, proving that the community is united in its vision. So once exchanges see that they might be more open to implementing an on-chain taxes, you know. So it's a process and uh, every small step really counts right now. But in the grand scheme of things, I'll say it's about unity, whether you are a validator, a holder, or just someone dipping their toes into Terra Luna Classic. I think the path forward involves sacrifices and a, a shared vision. But you should remember, it's not just about uh, personal gains. It's about also the success of the entire project. So um, to round this up, I would like to say that the parameter change proposal isn't just a technical adjustment. It's a symbol of unity, a testament to the community's uh, commitment to the project's success. So. Let's just keep the dialogue open, share your thoughts, and remember, it's not just about the burns, it's also about the road to recovery. So, uh, before I wrap today's deep dive into the world of Terra Luna Classic and burns, uh, if you enjoyed the content, hit that like button, subscribe for more crypto insights, and ring that notification bell to stay in the loop, your opinions matter, so just drop them in the comment section. And let's talk price prediction right now. You are sitting nicely on that support. It's got historical significance. It was once a resistance. Then we had um, a breakout on the 4th of December. And we're now coming to test that zone. So I think it will actually be a solid support because we actually trend around that area for yeah from the 1st of December 2022 up to around March for about 4 three to four months we were just in the range bound testing that resistance which has now turned to a support i do believe now we tend to you give half the same caliber as the resistance that it formed so um yeah we are in for for a very very uh it's nice it's a nice support at that 0 0.3 zeros i'll just round it up to 18 0 0.3 zeros 18 so you know the levels i know some of you are listening like this uh some kind of a podcast so you should know the support level is 0 0.3018 so i think we are having a reversal there and if we do that i'm looking at minimum 22 percent to test uh 0 0.3021 or 22 and if we were to go all the way up then that's 44 percent which uh, is very feasible is very feasible anyway uh I'm signing off now, so until next time, you should stay enthusiastic and stay crypto curious and let's just ride the wave together. So catch you in the next one. Cheers.